Hello everyone, your friend of the neighborhood atheist here. Considering the rapid pace of news, I wanted to make the points I wanted to make about the recent events in France in a very quick, more or less unedited video. Hence no intro, and you might notice that my sound quality is a little worse because I didn't record it ahead of time. So, for those of you who haven't heard, 11.30 a.m. in Paris yesterday, three masked gunmen entered the offices of the satirical weekly journal, a Charlie Hebdo. In the building, they shot and killed eight journalists. Others in the building were shot, but it is unclear how many and how many will survive. Exiting the building, they engaged in a firefight with a police officer on the scene. The men injured the officer, and one of them shot the injured officer from point-blank range, reportedly shouting, We've avenged the Prophet Muhammad. Another officer was shot during a firefight after the suspects crashed their getaway car. They escaped after hijacking a bystander's car. One man, Hamid Morad, has turned himself in for involvement with these crimes. The French police are currently searching for two suspects, the brothers Saeed and Sheriff Kouachi. These murders were apparently committed because of the satirical representations of Muhammad published by Charlie Hebdo. Once again, extremist Muslims are attempting, by way of terrorism, to restrict the free speech of people whose job it is to exemplify free speech. So, right now, I want to sincerely ask the Islamic community to do something. Condemn these terrorists. Be as outraged about these horrible crimes as you would be if Christian terrorists had attacked Islamic cartoonists for making cartoons about Jesus. The way to convince people that you belong to a religion that is not as horrible as these atrocities make it look is to make your voices the loudest ones condemning these terrorists. Don't try to shy away from this. It is up to you to make the rest of us believe that these men do not represent your religion. Here's the point that everyone should be trying to take away from these events. Everyone has the right to say or draw anything, no matter how offensive it might be to someone's worldview, be they Christian, Muslim, Hindu, or atheist. If we can't laugh at a joke because it might offend someone, then we've lost our sense of humor, and that's an absolutely horrible thought. Being offended does not make you right, it does not give you any special rights over anyone else, it constitutes nothing more than your opinion. To quote from the atheist and brilliant actor Stephen Fry, it is now very common to hear people say, I'm rather offended by that, as if it gives them certain rights. It's no more than a whine. I'm offended by that. Well, so fucking what? If you're offended by my drawing Muhammad, then so what? What makes you think your offense places some restriction on my free speech? And killing people to restrict everyone's free speech is the very definition of terrorism. How can any religion which condones terrorism possess any kind of morality? I encourage everyone to go out and draw Muhammad, even if you have previously. Apparently the message hasn't gotten through yet, so I suggest you draw the most offensive thing you can think of. I'm going to draw something as soon as I have the time, and I'll be posting it on Google Plus and Twitter when I do. And finally, again to the Islamic community, it's time to convince the world that you do care about personal freedoms, and that you have a moral center in spite of your religion. It's time to stop being offended by cartoons of long-ago dead people and start being offended by terrorism like the rest of us. This has been your friendly neighborhood atheist. Thanks for watching.